But of course he sees Mr. Young Sheridan, Rick Sheridan. But he can't really point out why. Hello, YouTubians. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Greetings, everybody. However, whenever you're watching this, we appreciate you. Bother or not, we appreciate you. Thank you for uh, tuning in today. Yeah, because you already know time or is expensive. Because <laughs> you already know time is expensive. Yes, it is. And if you already know, don't know, but this show is about anything and everything creative. Creative. Self-expression. Mm -hmm. Anything that sparks your creativity in whatever medium you dabble. Yeah, express the soul. Mm -hmm. And welcome to the episode of Creativity Unsheathed. Unsheath. I'm Oliver Seawolf. I'm the brother Nino. And yes, we're brothers. Yes, we are. Yes, sir. And this is the show where we feel. Where we feel that uh, just be grateful for what you have. And no matter how hard it is, it's always a wonderful life. And someone somewhere out there needs you, whether you know it or not. You are important to somebody. Mm -hmm. I agree. I concur. Yeah, you right. can't, can't be chasing the false false riches um, and just trying to keep up with the Joneses. You know, that, that whole saying and just trying to compete with that next family or with, with your neighbor, your friend, however it may be. But you don't need all that. Yeah. yeah just be grateful for the, just being able to be alive. And waking up. This can be worse. Yeah. And why are we talking about all this and what we're looking in today is... Sleepwalker. Holiday special. Everyone likes a holiday episode. Why not? And we're looking at an obscure character from the Marvel Universe. Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker. Created by Bob Budiansky. Nice. All right. That came out in the 90s. Yeah, the rookie card. Marvel cards. That's one of those. Yeah, that's the only reason that uh, how I mm -hmm. came to know of that character. Yeah. And then finding him out later and just finding his books and, you know, just in the powers that he dabbles in with and just the whole supernatural paranormal just, yeah. just caught my eye and hey, picked it up and just, yeah, and see what it was all about. And it was cool that you get Joe Quesada cover. Uh, no interiors, but, you know, he's... Quesada. Cup of Joe Quesada. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. The design is a little uh, obscure, but it's good. I like it. It's different. Yeah. It's cool. So I like it. I, I still like the concept. Mm -hmm. So in this particular mm -hmm. story, so you pretty much get this guy here. He just seems down on his luck. He has all of these negative things on his mind and mm -hmm. wishes that he has more. And during the holidays, no less. And uh, of course, he finds this card or business card on the floor. If you go for those who don't know what a jinn is, other than the blue genie from Aladdin, you know they are known to be more on uh, like the evil side yeah. as well so yeah. yeah they're good ones but they're bad ones and they're just more on the uh, malevolent side and have a lot of mischievous themes mm -hmm. just similar you know of, of a devil yeah like, like, like Loki you know like yeah definitely Indian uh, mythology folklore mm -hmm. uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger oh that's it yeah that's another yeah. good example the, the dream root mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah so in Supernatural the TV shows you know, mm -hmm. they, they use this, that whole uh, concept as well Great team up front. Wow, soul creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the inker Armando Gill. <laughs> Remember him from uh, the, the What If issue 50? Mm. Uh, what if Hulk killed Wolverine? Oh, 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 yeah. So he did the pencils on there, and now he's inking here. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. He has like an alien face, huh? Yeah. With bug eyes. Oh, so he uses the uh, the card. Hmm. Have a nice day. <laughs> I bet you say that to the old guy. Have a nice day. Money keeps pouring. Solving his money troubles. Yeah. Oh look, instead of numbers, it's letters. And the pin number is Jin. Whoa. Hmm. Can't, 
get no supernatural than that. Hmm. That looks like a penny. <laughs> That's cool, he gets along with the dog. Alright. Rambo, haha. <laughs> totally the paranormal how animals can see spirits. Yep, yep, that is true. Do you get, uh, comment below if you guys seen that TV show, uh, Haunted. Yeah. Where uh, it focuses on around animals that see spirits. Yeah, it could be sad sometimes. Yeah, knowing if you're if you guys are animal lovers. Yeah. It's sad, but it's good. Good story. Right. And this is Rick Sheridan. Yeah. Who possesses Sleepwalker? Uh, sleepwalker. Yeah. So this is the way it works. He goes back his mind. He wakes up. It's back to Rick. I wonder what you took that picture that does you look like. Caught off guard. <laughs> like, huh? She does look like had that facial expression, though. Like, mm -hmm. and that's his girlfriend, <laughs> Rick's former girlfriend. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All you need is your dog. For real. <laughs> so he's taking all of his. Oh look! He is on a sigil. Right. Or a ritual. Right, it's kind of like a little resemblance of that. Mm -hmm. You just don't have that uh, the pentagram on the floor, but the, that perfect circle. Right. Oh, dude, see, look. Everything that you need. Wow, it's crazy. That, that will be like that, though. <laughs> Good evening. So the gin man manifests as this gentleman. That's cool they didn't make it like a cliche like a genie from the lamp type. Oh, yeah. I agree. It's yeah, I get like how in Lucifer he's dressed in a suit. Hmm. T V show. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Supernatural. The the seven deadly sins. Right, just uh, having a um a fake persona. Mm -hmm. like a costume. Uh skin <laughs> oh, that's... oh yeah, right. Skinwalker. So right now he's just trying to pimp him out as far as persuading him of what he can do and what he can give him and he's really considering it knowing how bad and down on his luck yeah it sounds nice but it sounds too good to be true yeah I can like can go for anything right like uh, a deal that's too good you know what I mean? Or yeah, it's just something. You just don't, something yeah. about it on fire. There's something that goes the dark side to everything. So it seems like he has agreed. And now he's just scoping out the other potential warriors or spiritual warriors that he would, may have to go up against. But seeing that these guys, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, and Quasar are off doing their thing far away from what where he's at but of course he sees Mr. Young Sheridan Rick Sheridan but he can't really point out why Rick is there mm -hmm. he doesn't know the sleepwalker is in, is hiding inside of him oh so oh, okay okay mm -hmm. yeah okay, I get it I'm curious why like, is this yeah. human manifesting in front of me yeah. Paraphrasing y'all. Yeah. Just going off of the visual narrative. This is physical form, but not the sleepwalk form. Okay. Exactly. Hmm. It's the times, y'all. Yeah. Check uh check out the episode. Great great time <laughs> to be a kid. Yeah man. <laughs> Cartoons and toys. So we took a piece of him and snap. Oh, that's gross. You got the little minion running around. Just like that. That's gross. <laughs> so he sends him off to go after this curious entity of, of Rick Sheridan. So maybe trying to take him out sooner than later, trying to find out what he is all about. Yeah. Yeah. It's Christmas, guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, say what you guys like. Say what you want to say about like this kind of boring storytelling. I like it. I, mm -hmm. I really do. Mm -hmm. Right, just the beat for beat, 
you know, change the angles. It's like you really show, like you know how to how to visually tell a story. Yeah, yeah. Don't need no fancy like colors and like glossy pages. Nah, it's a good story than drawing. Right. Good yeah. storytelling. Yeah. And it's like, I think those who rely on three, four panel layouts, it's like, Mike could, you know, could honestly be just be lazy storytellers. Yeah. They don't kind of like getting your money's worth when it comes to comics, you know? Yeah. You know, like this scene, for example, you know, it, less, not a lot of background, but he establishes it here. And then, Continue off where the conversation needs to go, mm-hmm, pull and then, back a little, right, and then just get the talking heads and just focus on the dialogue. Mm-hmm. Right? And it works. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. Well, of course, when some dialogue in some scenes where it requires such backgrounds, yeah, you of course you have to draw it. But, mm-hmm. Hey, if you love drawing it, right? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, but then sometimes like it's nice to get a break and have nothing in the back, you know. Mm. It's like oh, it's a little breather. Yeah. It's like you always got to consider, like, oh, maybe they had deadline mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. something or something going on that day. Like they couldn't go all out. Yeah. Working page by page. Mm-hmm. Hey, comic spot again. The Rockefeller Center. It's like really, that's all you need. Is just that statue, one tree, and then a building. Mm-hmm. You're there. For real. Like you know, you have you have some stories that really oversell the location. It's like, oh, I gotta get the perfect, or uh, I can't draw it, so I'm gonna get the Photoshop and just paste it in there. Yeah, <laughs> be lazy about it. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go take a nap. So I wonder if Sleepwalker has the power to do that. Make him sleep. Yeah. Hmm. Or he has to force himself to sleep to actually come out. Yeah, it's like once Rick sleeps, it's like, yeah, sleepwalking just come out whenever. But he has to make sure, like, his vessel doesn't get tampered with or get killed off. Then, like, he forever wanders off. Or... Like, the more you understand sleepwalking, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. He needs, like, a, a stem off of Doctor Strange. Got some magic going on. What's going on? <gasps> it's a mutant attack. So he has the power to manipulate warp reality. Yeah. I mean, just have people freak out. Hmm. Manipulate. Hmm. Breaks free. No, it's like a Looney Tunes character. Oh, I know. See it. I mean, yeah. As an artist, how would, how would you draw Supernatural? <laughs> yeah. So I think that's where you really let the mind go. And I think when when Dicko drew what he did in uh, Steve, uh, Stephen Strange, Doctor mm-hmm. Strange, in those pages, people thought well, he was on LSD or on drugs or yeah. something, but no, he just... Let his mind go. Yeah. Really tapped to his uh, subconscious. Right, and I don't think he's really known to be a meditator and just to see the unconscious world like that. Yeah. <laughs> to be in a small room like that, it's like, what did you get your inspiration? Mm-hmm. And you don't have like uh, files of references. And you hardly go out. <laughs> oh, wow. So he manipulated the tree. Oh, with electricity. Hmm. Paranormal do be messing up with your electricity. <laughs> like your magnetic magnetic field, yeah. Wow. So that gin just re- finally revealed himself as that, right? Mm-hmm. His real form. Hmm. So he's it. He's done with it. Or is it? It's kinda like the mask. Right, until for the next person to <laughs> right. find it. Yeah. Throw it away. I don't want it no more. Really supernatural. Totally. It's like within the same mythos. Mm. It could be a rabbit's foot, could be a man, whatever. 
coin I think it was really cool that how he got his job, man. Just really had the pure luck, just being there at the right time and putting in the work. And it so happened that, you know, someone bailed out or, like, I forget what gig it was, but someone just bailed out on the job and then they needed someone to fill in on, I think it was either a cover or some fill in pages, but mm -hmm. Joe was there and then, hey, do you want to work? Man, considered right, right place, right time. Right. And he said, consider this your luckiest, luckiest day of your life, man. It's like, man. You, kid, what are you doing here? I want a job? Well, I love you. Shut up, come here. <laughs> draw this. It's nuts. We'll give you minimum for now, but just draw. <laughs> so this is a backstory. Insomnia, not the one directed by uh, Christopher Nolan, but written by Tom Brevoort. I wonder if he came up with a plot and then... Mike, oh, yeah. uh, it's not Podansky drawing it. No. So I wonder if Mike uh, Kentrovich came up with the dialogue. So you guys, you gotta get a free story. Mm -hmm. Man, it's cool for, for a Christmas special. It's a nice gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We gifted another story, y'all. Tom the Falcon. The Falco. Mm -hmm. Supposedly he's back writing for Marvel right now. Nice. So that's, that's cool. You get, you get OGs, you get the veterans still getting work. It's great. It's good to hear. Keep comics alive, y'all. All right. It gets better. I promise. Mm -hmm. Seeing the two, two styles from Armando Gills to this, it's like, I don't know, what, what do you prefer more? Do you prefer more of the house looking or the more of the experimental look I like experimental yeah i think so yeah, too yeah i give them more attitude more mood to the character i agree i mean for certain on a, i guess when it comes down to a house style it maybe it only suits for for a certain group of heroes mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. not not for the whole universe but a small handful for sure like i think for example like superman like i think when you have a set template mm -hmm. for his look you can't ever go wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing wrong with like Ed McGinnis's art. It's like, but it's better on certain characters. Yeah. Like doing Superman. Yeah. Hulk. But yeah, for sure. It's like when you get these right artists on the right projects. Oh, right? Imagine uh, Kelly Jones on a Sleepwalker, or like a Sam Kevitz with their art on it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> so it's Joe Phillips and company. We got a, a Bob Kane thing going on here. Bob Camp, Bob mm. Kane Camp thing. It's like, all right, I'm just, you guys do this, this, this. I'm just going to chill. Yeah, but I'll break it down. You finish it. <laughs> I'm just going to, but we're still going to use the John Phillips name. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the company? I mean, even seeing the experimental breakdowns of the panels here, it's like you don't see the traditional house layouts, you know, like even the following panels. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe just because of who Sleep Rocker is, you know, maybe you can exaggerate on the designs because like you get the image style. Oh yeah, the panels. Right, as if he was like looking at those guys. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's like he can't sleep till he had some spicy meatballs. <laughs> A real hefty dinner. Mm -mm. <laughs> keep it light, guys. Before you go to sleep, keep it light dinner. And like he's trying to, he's trying to save these people, but he keeps waking up. So he keeps getting dragged like, yeah. back and forth, back yeah. and forth. So like, shit, the villains must be apprehended before he wakes up again. <laughs> Damn it, Rick. Stay <laughs> asleep. <laughs> this is intolerable. <laughs> it's gastric distress. 
<laughs> He's missing that my rich piece. <laughs> he needs some Pepto Bismol. <laughs> the pink stuff. <laughs> Man, it's like it's totally I'm just missing that ad now. Just <laughs> a pop up ad of Pepto Bismol. Get it now. Oh, okay. Sleepwalker approves. I wonder if he got inspired by Dicto to go like like paranormal, that physical. Oh yeah. Like how do you channel that world? Mm -hmm. Who would you draw? So it looks like he is warping out something. So the boat. Yeah. So yeah. they can warp the reality. Oh, so you gotta have the boat grab him. So. Mm -hmm. At the dock. At first I thought it was like a rug or something. Like we're inside the room or something? Mm-hmm. Joker's out again. That's cool. So you got two pinups and a cover. It's like something you'd see on a Trapper Keeper. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. folders. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it. Nice job, Joe. Couple of Joe. Wink World Board game. Did you ever play this? No, nah, but actually, YouTube it. It's real. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Wow. So I just took it out. I just I didn't watch it all the way, but no, it's real. Did it look fun or did it make sense? Yeah, they're just playing on VHS of them as Wayne's World. So it's like a play along. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, that was Sleepwalker Holiday Special for Holidays. Whatever bin you find it in, definitely pick it up. If you guys are fans of Sleepwalker or if it's first time being introduced to the character, hey, now you know. Now you know what it looks like. You got Bob Booty Yancey creating them. Uh, he is the creator of like majority of the uh, Marvel Transformer stories, mm -hmm. you know, the books that came out and he came up with some of the character names as yeah, well. Yeah, it's like Ratchet was one of them. Yeah. Um, Gatron. Yeah, so it was almost like Larry Hama that came up with the oh with the GI Joe GI Joe stuff. Yeah, that's cool. You got you got comic book creators coming up stuff for toys. Yeah, right? so thank you. And that's uh, for the whole toy industry. That must be fun, huh? Coming up with names. Yeah, all right. And he's coming up with the backstories and all of that. Yeah, so, right? and it goes hand in hand because like he created toys for the holidays and yeah, right. And it says this whole holiday aesthetic and yeah. everyone's shopping yeah. right now and, and then seeing where toys have developed today and from mm -hmm. what they were back then. Now, like little kids, really get really high articulated toys yeah. with a lot of parts. And, and kids that are growing now have money, are willing to go buy the originals. No, yeah, they're like, still in box or used, but just for that nostalgia, mm -hmm. just having it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So there you go, Sleepwalker, holiday special. In the early years of Joe Quesada cover, so. If you're collecting Joe Quesada art and you need something from this obscure character. Now you know. <laughs> and we're going to end this episode with a motivational quote for y'all. And um, let the value hit you for what it's worth. If you heard this before, it's a nice friendly reminder. Yep, yep. And uh, this one is by the great Charles Dickens. You little Dickens. <laughs> Charles Dickens. Right. It's coming out of A Tale of Two Cities. It states, A wonderful fact to reflect upon that every human creature is constituted to be that profound secret and mystery to every other end quote nice yeah that's nice um i think really the key word right there was to reflect i mean there's there's no really no better answer of of where you want to go or where things need to be or why things are what they are is to reflect on your own life or yeah. on the day or just what happened and it's mm -hmm. like just really think and ponder on that you know every human being has that secret within them I think with the, I think there always there's that key that unlocks whatever is within them, mm -hmm. and it's like it's always been the mystery for others. However, it will just stay a mystery if you don't unlock it. If you don't unlock your gifts, you know, it will just stay a mystery for you and for the others. And you know, the world needs what you have. You know, mm -hmm. you know yeah, whatever sure. like what you have to offer. And you know? so like don't let it stay cooped up within within yourself, within that creative mind of yours. Yeah, maybe that's why it's like that's why there's dates and stuff that oh like so what do you do and what are your ambitions like getting to know that person mm -hmm. that you just met and then like from that you can learn from each other. 
Yeah, and just kind of have that conversation within yourself. It's like you know, have to rely on someone else to like you know bring bring that out of you. You know, it's like yeah, you can have you can look up motivation and inspirational things, but it still comes down to you to unlock whatever you want. You know? mm -hmm. Whatever you have to to get to the next plateau. Yeah. Only you know you. We don't know you. <laughs> yeah. So it's like we're just here on the same creative journey, uh, sharing our experiences, sharing the things that we make. Take whatever value you want from it. Yeah. No, no charge. No charge. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, let let the quote hit you in the way to where you need to reflect and you know where you need to go for the next for the two for 2024. You know, there's something to look forward to, or even just for tomorrow. Okay, agree. All right, yeah. I think that's that time where we say keep creating, stay creative, stay independent, have your own voice, please. Tell your own story. Yeah, stay positive and kill the negativity, guys. And do your best to find the balance of that universal good and evil that that's forever been there. Do your best to to do good and just be you. So till next time, though. Till next time. Peace. Peace. Did you get everything you wanted on your list?